Hi YouTube, it's me again, Veronica Yancey, back in my little garden. Today is Friday, July 13th, Friday the 13th. <laughs> but anyway, this video, the sole purpose of this video is to show how I harvest my second generation cayenne pepper. And as you can see, they are very ready to be picked. I have more that's going, but they haven't turned. As you can see, they haven't really turned um, the fiery red color. The redder it is, the hotter it is. So, yeah, I, I said, and I mentioned in another video, I can't wait to show you guys how I harvest my red peppers. And so, show that process. Okay, so I'm hoping that you guys can see me from here. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, it's gone. All right, so thank you, Cela. Um, what I wanted to do is show you guys how to um, preserve and like string up red peppers the old fashioned way. And I love the color red to me. Right now, the color red represents the summertime. And if you look at like the four cardinal directions and fire, the color fire represents, um, is represented with the color red. So I got some red string for my red peppers because I'm feeling fiery. And honestly, summertime for me is a reminder that, you know, you don't be stagnant. You know, you got to. Like the old folks say, get some fire up under your ass so you can do what you got to do. So, I celebrate it instead of trying to fight the fire. I become the fire. But anyway, that's my alter ego talking. So, what I'm going to do is take um, three pieces of string because I want my string to be very sturdy. Uh, right now, I only harvested three red peppers. I got a lot of red peppers that are growing, but um, right now, only three of them is ready. And I've even seen it where, well, I've done it, not just seen it, but I've done it where I um, harvested the peppers prior to it turning red. And they will turn red, like, after you pick them. But i just rather do this. The old fashioned way. Get them where they fiery red. They so pretty right now. I dare you bite into one. Ha! <laughs> but anyway. So just like the old folks. I'm going to string. String up. I look like we might. Nah. I ain't going to claim it. Sometime. There's a, a verse in the Bible. And I can't remember. But basically it's saying something like. You have a better chance of getting into heaven like going through the eye of a needle. If you know that verse, please drop it in the comment section. Hold on a second. And anytime you're using sharp needles or scissors or anything, it's good to clean it off with alcohol. So, it, it seems as if um, there's some stuff stuck in my needle. And I'm trying to get it out so my thread can just go right through. Now, normally, if I had the camera turned around to me, um, I could uh, pause this part. But I might as well just talk through it. I hope y'all had a wonderful day. It's Friday, TGIF. My day has been good. I had the day off and um, did some riding around. And in the future, I'm going to make a video about this woman who inspired me so much. Her name is Sister Emma Dupree. And um, she passed away back in 1994. But she was like the sage of uh, Pitt County. 
She was born in Falkland, North Carolina. And she um, she lived in Pitt County. And I've been doing research on her for quite some time, since like the early 2000s. And um, today I found some very valuable information about her like exactly where she lived and it's so crazy because it's like she right up under my nose or what you know she lives not too far from me and I pass this place all the time Jeez. but anyway today I went to an old house and I just felt her presence and this woman truly inspires me because she was an herbalist, a uh, uh, granny woman. She's everything I ever wanted to be. And she grew up in a small town in Fountain. I have an aunt that used to live out there. And Fountain's a very, very small town. Like everybody know everybody. Um, but how I found out about Miss Emma Dupree was through like I used to live in Raleigh and they had the um, North Carolina Museum of History and one day I took my oldest daughter there when she was a little girl and then we came upon Miss Emma Dupree's exhibit and um, at the North Carolina History Museum Turns out that she received the North Carolina Folk Heritage Award, um, I think back in 1994. Because, you know, from based on the research and uh, information that they shared, Miss Emma Dupree, she just knew, oh, excuse me. She just knew, like, the woods and nature. She just had this, like, innate connection with nature. And, like I said, she's everything I aspire to be. And so today, to be able to go to where she, you know, lived and where she died, that was a big a milestone for me. And so I... I dedicate this video to her and in case you were wondering what she looked like this is a picture of miss emma dupree god bless her heart i love her so much even in death i still love her and she inspires me in so many ways um she you can find information about miss emma dupree on wikipedia as well as um uh, Tulsa world or something like that. I can't remember. Just type in Google Emma Dupree from Fountain, North Carolina. And, you know, you'll learn so much about her. But, um, uh, like I said, the reason I made this video is because I wanted to show you guys how to string up, how to string up, um, uh, red pepper or cayenne pepper. Got to make sure all my strings is nice and even we don't want no half job we wanna and when i do things i try to do it thoroughly and correctly so what i'm gonna do now is just tie up the end which the way you know what my mom impressed me by how good she tied knot and i just wish i had those gifts because she does it with one hand where it might take me both my hands to do it correctly. So, yeah. Okay. Like I said, the string is kind of thick. And when you string these up, you want to wash them off, let them dry. And you want to stick it through the actual stem of the red pepper and be very careful listen to me y'all don't touch your eyes or your face when handling hot peppers it will burn 
your eyes and it does not feel good so uh you also had an option to wear gloves if you like ouch i knew that was gonna happen okay so here we go ta-da isn't that nice and it's so attractive and pretty when you finish with it so i know this ain't the way grandmama them did it but this the way i'm doing it as far as uh the way i apply the needle to the stalk oh my one of them came off mm. so let's just try this again you gotta make sure that you go straight through Okay, I wish I had more to show you, but right now I only have three. And three is a good number. You know, it's the Trinity. I say the triple goddess. Some people say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But either way, three is a good number. So I ain't mad that I only harvested three. And so when every day or every time I'm um, harvesting, I'll just add more until there's none left. And I'm going to hang this right by the sage and the basil. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments, questions, um, concerns, uh, advice, anything that you would like to um, speak on these peppers. That would be great. Thank you for tuning in. Please do not forget to subscribe and share. And I appreciate all 83 of my subscribers as of Friday uh, the 13th. I have 83 subscribers. I cannot thank y'all enough. I am truly appreciative of everything oh, that y'all, you know, your input, your views, everything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Peace.